Hello, it's the devil, and in this one, uh, we will map our MIDI controller in Ableton. And we have Amplitude loaded already on audio track one. And we'll go here, and let's, uh, let's put a volume pedal on our chain. <laughs> And what we want to do is uh, let's assign automation on here. It will become parameter one on and off. We want to able be able to turn it on or off. And after that, after we have assigned it to parameter one, we will go here, extend this and let's configure. There we go, it will open that. Let's put that off and edit MIDI map. So we want our the first button of our controller to put it either on or off. Uh, now we can see it on the map list. And it could be, let's see it, how it works, but I have, this is a self-made controller, so. So now it's off, and now it's on. So yeah, the LED is correct, but uh, the thing is that that isn't. So uh, what can you do? Uh, could be the wiring, but and after that, of course, we want to be able to uh, control the volume pedal with our expression pedal so assign automation to there we go let's check yep volume let's go here and configure uh, it opens up that again so parameter 2 edit midi map and let's press our there we go And here off we go. Uh, now we should be able to control the volume with our pedal. So let's test it out. It works. So let's leave it there. Uh, let's do a bit more, a uh, few more. So uh, let's get some delay. Uh, no, let's take a plate reverb and put it on, on the master bus. And uh, we want to be able to press it on or off. So it can't be done, can't do it here. And what we need to do is go here. And we have to choose it from this list parameter three let's put it there and it's master so rack master pi bass and then we add it add it there okay and then we go here configure again uh, it opens up that one and then we edit the media map let's put it on this button there we go click off the MIDI uh, now Click it off.
so there we go that's uh, as easy as it gets so uh, let's do one more and let's put a uh, good old actually I'm just gonna put the noise gate over there first there we go get rid of that noise so let's put a tube scream over scream here there we go and same thing sign automation bypass parameter 4 then we go here MIDI parameter 4 let's click it on that one so yeah we don't have to put the configure in here we can just go straight to the MIDI There we go. I think that should do it. And yeah, it works with other controllers too. But it's really nice to have a controller. You can uh, get the feel of, you know, pressing pedals while you're, uh, well, if you want to perform in a way when you're recording and let's uh, also try this so we have these three here again yellow uh, green and red so maybe we would like to have them on these settings so edit minimap there we go let's get out of the midi so now we have stop in there. How about play to the green button and record on the red one. So now when we press play, we should have uh, the playhead moving. It is stop, stop twice. It goes in the beginning. So. Uh, So I had to keep it pressed. Can we do something about that? Let's see. Uh, global record. Oh, we can't. So uh, at least not from here. Uh, it's a bit different in Studio One. We could uh, put it, uh, map the button as a on off so uh can't do it here so i would have to keep it pressed if i want to record and yeah that kind of sucks but of course we could uh put it to a different button but that would kind of suck because these are not soft touch so now we now we should be able to let's try try it again so i could map it to a button like that but it's kind of weird that i can't can't do it like that uh 
don't know. There might be something in Ableton that sh would let me do it, but I really don't know about it right now, so we'll leave it. But yeah, that's it. That should be get that should get you going with mapping. It's as simple as that. And if you want have to get crafty, you can do it in here and choose the parameter. Uh, if you can't click it on the on here somewhere, like for instance, we can in, do it in here with the click of a right button. Then we can go here and choose it from the list and add it to our chosen parameter. There you go. That's done. Oh yeah, uh, one more thing. If you mess up, you can always go here and you can just delete. So, and then you can map it again. Or I don't know if, if you even have to do that. Let's try. So let's map this one to the red button again. There we go. And let's change it to here now. So it's CC 115 now. How about we press it again and choose. So yeah, it works like that. You know, you can just override or then you can delete if you don't want something to be mapped anymore. All right. <laughs>